All right, guys. So today is June eleventh, two thousand thirteen, and um, it is one of those days, guys. Um, seriously, get out of the way of the mirror. But seriously, today, guys, <laughs> just not feeling it. Um, I just finished up a chest and tricep workout, but um, seriously, you know, very weak strength, incredibly weak, weaker than pretty much we've ever been. Uh, this morning, I woke up. I ate like three rice cakes and came to the gym. I like I even poured a pre-workout. I didn't even drink it because uh, my stomach just wasn't really holding it. But I didn't drink it. Um, we did 12 sets of chest, eight sets of tricep, and I'm honestly smoked. Um, like I said, no pump, no strength. So this is a you know great example of um, your body trying to talk to you. Now, like I said, I'm a very instinctive trainer, so I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't have a set workout split, you know, one, like day one, two, three, then the fourth day off. Um, I go until I'm tired, you know, or I need a break or something comes up in my day, so. I've been at the gym probably like six days straight already, <laughs> to be honest, um, completely honest with you guys. Now that's just how I like to train, you know, instinctively. Uh, today is chest tricep, and honestly tomorrow I'm gonna take a day off. I can feel my body, it's telling me, Christian, you need some rest, you know, you've been doing cardio every day, I need some rest, so listen to your body, guys. Um, the main thing. I mean, the arms got an okay pump, I guess, but um, I mean, nothing crazy. And like I said, strength was down. But how this is what I want you guys to take away from this how are we going to negate this like negative energy we have? You know, I know you guys are always like, oh, you're, spot, you're positive, you're positive. You always have, you know, always up and everything. And you know, I'm a human being, you know, sometimes you have off days, but how you respond to those off days is really. I guess just your character, you know, so, and your discipline. So what we're gonna do, instead of, oh, I'm tired now, I'm gonna give my body a rest. You know, we'll give it a rest tomorrow. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna shock up our body. We're not gonna go on that treadmill, you know, do 30 minutes. We're gonna, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. All right guys, we're here at Purgatory Creek. This is a, uh, like a local trail here in San Marcos. Outdoors, you know, sun's out, feeling good. Um, we're ready to change it up, guys. You know, I don't want to. I feel so stagnant. You know, you're in the gym, you're lifting your weights, you get tired, you get lazy, you do the treadmill every day, the stairmaster every day. Break it up, guys. You know, come outside, do something different. You know, I haven't done this in a long time. I've only done this once, so it's my second time doing this. You know, awesome day. Um, what I'm going to do is, since um, I don't want to have to carry my keys and my phone, which is my iPod, uh, I'm taking my backpack with me. So I already emptied out pretty much everything, guys. But what we're gonna do, throw our water in here. Um, see, I didn't even drink my pre-workout this morning. That's how bad of a workout it was. But I'm just gonna try to chug half of this, go for about 30 minute run. And uh, there, guys, I'm gonna show you guys the view. It's amazing. Um, kind of different episode of summer shredding. You know, like I said, it wasn't a great day in the gym. Doesn't mean it can't be a great day outside the gym. We're gonna go about 30 minutes now. I'm not saying we're just gonna go a full jog the whole 30 minutes. Probably, probably sprint a little bit, probably jog, probably power walk, just mix it up, guys, you know. Um, we could just go for a 30 minute jog, but I kinda wanna get that high intensity um, incorporated into this workout. So we're gonna burn a lot of calories, it's nice and hot, get a nice tan, so here we go. We are ready. Now I'm just taking my backpacks, I got all my stuff in here, so. Here we go. All right guys, just got done with the real rocky part. It's kinda hard because you don't want to twist an ankle or anything, but here's the view. In the trees, guys. In the trees. So back in Houston, where I'm actually from, it's uh not, hilly like this. So in San Marcos and Austin, there's a lot more hills. Um, just like the landscaping of it all, geographically, compared to Houston. Houston's very flat. Funny story, I um, actually, I'll show you guys what I'm running. Back when I was like 14, 15, I was really into like skating and stuff, like inline skating. So 
I decided that I wanted to try this thing called a freeboard. It's pretty much like, it's like a skateboard, but you glide down hills. Um, and I guess, you know, swinging this way, that way, picks up your speed. Kind of like snowboarding on concrete. So I ordered this like $400 freeboard. You know, I paid for it myself. Come to find out, of course I didn't think of it when I was 14, but there's no hills in Houston. So I couldn't even ride it anywhere. Like the most action I got out of that thing was in my driveway. So <laughs> returned it or I sold it at a garage sale for like hundred bucks. But a little stupid story of my teenage years. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is where the wild things are. <laughs> yep, pythons. All right, guys, just got done. Feeling good. Um, time for a post-workout meal. So what we're gonna do is let's see how our shake cup. Shake the cup on the scale. All right. We're gonna turn this guy on. We're gonna go ahead and add our water. Now. When I do my shakes, today I'm doing two scoops, so I like a lot of water, so it's pretty filling, you know. So we'll go ahead. You don't have to have the scale on for the water, guys. So just let it on. So almost like a whole liter. That might be a little bit too much, which you guys can see. Now what we're gonna do is actually have a little bit. I still have a little bit of Forza Pro left, so we're gonna do. Uh, let's see if we can get two scoops out of here. We should be able to. Let's draw out the scale. Two scoops is exactly 80 grams weighed out. So, one. That's 55. Yeah, way too much water. And 70. See what I mean, guys? Like, they say two scoops, but it's seriously, you gotta weigh it out to be accurate. Okay, 80 grams. So as you can see, it's just filled to the freaking top, so I'll have to probably drink some. Uh, and then put some ice cubes. But, go ahead and shake that up. And on top of that, guys, I am very hot. Um, so what sounds good? You know, middle of summer, what sounds delicious? It's ice cream. It sounds great, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is, um, skinny cow, vanilla, ice cream sandwiches, 150 calories, two grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, four grams of protein. Ice cream sandwich. Tastes amazing. It's hot outside, guys. Clearly, ice cream sandwich. So, open this up. I'm gonna have this first. Skinny cow. Mm. Can't beat it. Guys, drinking my uh, protein shake, as my friends would say. But we're here. Um, I actually want to show you guys the shoes I wear. Um, well, I wear a lot of different pairs. You guys know shoes are kind of like my uh, my collector's item, I guess. You know, there's sunglass guys. There's like car guys, which is obviously way too expensive. <laughs> but there's shoe guys. I'm a shoe guy. I really just work out shoe guys. So um, the ones I wear, and actually my favorite pair. It's not the Nike Freeze. It's yeah. Sorry, they're kind of dirty. Just went on that run. They're the Nike Fly Knit, and that's F L Y K N I T Fly Knit Lunar Ones. Now, um, they're extremely, extremely light, and I don't know if you guys can actually see in there, but yeah, you can. So it's like you can honestly see through the shoe. It's just uh, all woven and everything, and very cushioned. Awesome for running. Now, um, obviously this isn't like optimal for deadlifting or for squatting, but um, I love these shoes, guys, for all purpose, you know? Uh, and if I'm gonna squat or deadlift, I'll most likely just take off my shoes, so. Kinda dirty right now, but yeah, so you guys can see them. They're, um, yeah, it's a little, the tongue. It's nice, really nice shoe. Um, they are a little bit pricey, but I like, they were a gift, so I really like them. Uh, check them out. Nike.com, that's what I wear, what I recommend. 
And um, a lot of people will like order specific running shoes, you know, squat shoes, deadlift shoes, and you know, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's not my thing, I guess, but uh, just take off your shoes, go barefoot. If your gym will allow it, and if not, just go to somewhere where they can't see. That's my advice. We have, sorry, my music's on. But we have three servings of turkey. Um, just rotisserie short turkey breasts. We have two slices of toasted Sara Lee bread. We have a, one and a half servings of fat free mozzarella cheese and some Frank's red hot buffalo sauce. Very low calorie, um, very, very good, filling, nutritious bun. Four whole eggs, three egg whites, and two servings of turkey. Moderate fat and high protein meal. Delicious. June 12th, 2013. It is exactly 10 a.m. Um, been up for a little bit. Had a weigh-in of the third day in a row at 163.4 slash 163.6, 163.8. So pretty much haven't had a low weigh-in and we're not really budging on the scale. Um, we've been working out every day, been doing the cardio and yeah, so time to lower the calories. Um, that's what the whole scale is saying, guys. Um, it's time to lower the calories. It's time to lose those last couple pounds. Um, I don't want to stay stuck at 163 to 164 for another week. So we'll be dropping the calories a little bit, mainly the carbs. Um, my protein was at about 210. So, uh, as you guys know, I like to do 1.2 grams per pound of body weight when I'm dieting down. So, let me get my calculator right here. So, if I was at, I was at 210. So, now my new body weight will say 163 times 1.2, 195, 0.6. So, we'll do 195, 196. Um, we'll drop the protein by about 15 to 195, 196. As far as carbs go, I've been around 270. So, I'm going to drop that down to about... 220, 230. Keep fats at about 55 to 60. So that'll be that, guys. Um, man, it's kind of upsetting. You know, I really enjoyed that high calorie losing weight, but I guess it's time to drop it down, you know. Finish up. We got another two, three weeks, maybe four weeks um, of this dieting. But realistically, guys, I really only have probably five to six more pounds to lose. Um, hopefully. So. Yeah, I'm not trying to get like contest, contest lean, but I definitely want to be uh, ripped. So that's that, guys.